What's up everybody, my name is Matthew Stratton helping you create music and on this channel I do set of videos, tutorials, and how to's just like this one. So I received a question in the comments on my MPC Live drum programming video and the question was from Dr. Sauce and he said, bro, what does create events option mean when you're saving a sample to a drum program? So what I want to do is just show you what that means. All right, so I have an empty sequence. There are literally no drum programs. I'm going to go ahead and go to menu. I'm going to go to sample edit. I have this one sample in here already, okay? So I'm assuming you already sampled or have whatever sample you want in there and you're trying to convert your chops into a drum program. All right, so this is what I'm assuming because he left this question on the drum program video. So I'm assuming he's dealing with drum programs. So what I'm gonna do is I. I'm going to do a quick chop, so I'm going to go to chop, use my thresholds. All right, so there's the chops. Let's say the chops are perfect, you're happy with them. What you can do is go to shift, and you can convert this, all right? You can convert your sample, you know, into a new drum program, non-destructive slices, and you get this option to create event, and you get this option here for how many bars, okay? So basically, I'm just gonna show you what this does, all right? So I wanna pick four bars, I'm gonna pick do it. All right, so I wanna come back over to the main. You can see right here, sample chop one. All right, so it made a program for us. And so I can play it. Find your, uh, your chops, all right? You got your chops in there. So you got your chops in there, but what Create Events does is if you tap right there, you can see there's events on the sequence. So these events were not there before. This was a blank sequence. All right, it was completely blank. So if I push play now, it's actually gonna play the sample. So go ahead and listen to it. All right, and you know, the BPM, you could adjust the BPM. All right, so there you go. That's what Create Events does. And you could change your BPM and it's gonna play the sample to whatever BPM that you got it. So if I change this, for example, to like 140, click do it. It's gonna play through it, so. All right, and you could change the BPM to whatever and it's gonna play those particular chops in that order. And, you know. See what I mean? And that works for whatever chops you got in there. It doesn't matter what you're working with. If you click create events, it's gonna create the events on the sequence. And there you go. That's what it does. Short, simple. All right, so there you have it. This is what Create Events does. It creates events in the sequence whenever you create a program out of your sample. So I'm going to go over all the functions of the sample editor and the sampler, but in the meantime, I could do little videos like this to kind of help you out along the way. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll try to get to them. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe I'll start kind of a mini series, uh, you know, just kind of answering good questions that you might have that's kind of easier to show you what it is rather than just kind of explaining to you. Um, and hopefully that kind of helps you out so you can get a better understanding of the MPC Live and you can continue to create music. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Matthew, continue to create, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.